Hello and welcome to Ms. Ma's Grade 11 Functions class. This is 5.7, the cosine law. So the cosine law is a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cos a. Remember that you can use any letters that you like as long as you have little whatever it is um, across from big whatever it is, and these are on the outsides of the cosine law. You can use the cosine law for side, 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 where we're trying to find an angle and we're given all three sides, or if you have two sides and the angle in between. So nothing is opposite and nothing is right angle, so we would use the cosine law. So you can start doing this question on your own if you like, but I'm going to do it with you if you would like. I'm going to just draw my line in here because this is a half of a rectangle of a regular octagon, and uh, it has side lengths 10 meters, so this is equal to this is equal to this, and that's all 10. That also tells that th us that this is a right angle, tri and this is a right angle, and that these are equal, and they're equal to 5, because that's half of the octagon. And I'm also going to actually extend this right here right now, like this, um, to make us a little triangle, okay? so. The roofers place a 22.9 meter ramp against the side of the building and form an angle of 26 degrees with the ground. If the base of the ramp is 15.6 meters from the barn, determine the distance from the top of the ramp to the roof. So that's this distance right here. I'm actually going to label everything, so let's call this A, B, C, D, E, and F, and that will just help us get situated. So we, if we could figure out what this length is, then and we could use this triangle right here to find this length, then we could just subtract it off and find the answer. So I'm hoping to use B, E, F like this, oops, and this is going to be 26 degrees this is 22.9, and so far we don't have anything else, but we're looking for this little f right here. Actually, I'm just going to label my diagram. And if we wanted to find little f, uh, maybe we'd have to find little b, so we're going to try to figure it out. Okay, so I'm not really sure what else I can find right now, except that I know that this is a regular octagon. If this is a regular octagon, then all these angles are going to be the same, this one and this one and this one. And I know that the angles in an octagon, a regular octagon, are 180 times 8 minus 2, n minus 2, number size minus 2, so 6, over the number of sides, which is 8, and that ends up being 135 degrees. So that means that this angle right here is 135 degrees. And we can also see that this is a straight line, so this angle right here, DCE, Oops. will equal 180 minus 135, which actually ends up being 45 degrees, which is pretty convenient, because now I have 45 degrees here, I've got 45 degrees here, because this is a right angle triangle, and I know then that I have an isosceles triangle as well, so this, if this is 5, then I know that this distance right here is also 5. So now that's really convenient because if I want to know EF, I can just do EF equals 15.6 minus 5, which is 10.6. So I'll put that into my diagram right there. So now I have two sides and the angle in between them, which means that I can find this F, which is what I was going for. I'm going to use the cosine law. So f squared equals b squared plus e squared minus 2be cos f, and just fill it in, make sure you take the time to write the substitution in, and of course we always want to show our formula, because otherwise we are not doing a proper job, and write degrees in as well. If we do find f from this, we actually find that f ends up being 14.2 meters. So that gives us this distance right here, right? From b to e. Actually, let me choose a gr maybe a green color, or let's do purple. So here to here, 
this is going to be 14.2. Now if we could find AE, which we can, AE is going to be 10, which is the length of this octagon from here to here, AC, plus CE. And we know CE is in this right angle triangle, isosceles triangle, so CE is equal to the square root of 5 squared plus 5 squared, according to Pythagorean theorem. So we actually find that this is equal to 17.1, and now we have AE and we have F, so we can find AB. AB will be AE minus little f, which is 17.1 minus 14.2, which gives us 2.9 meters. So we'll write our final statement. The ramp is 2.9 meters from the roof. And we're done. Okay, moving on. So. Anthony wants to heat his 8.0 wide house with a hot water system and the tubes form an array that is 5.1 meters long. Actually, I should say that this is a solar hot water system. Um, the array must be on the south side of the roof and the roof needs to be inclined by 60 degrees. So let's label that. This is going to be 60 degrees and here's our 5.1 meter array um, like that. Actually, we also know that the length of this house is 8.0 meters. So if the north side is inclined by more than 40 degrees, the roof would be too steep for him to install the system by himself. So we actually want to find this angle right here to see if it's more or less than 40 degrees. So um, let's label this. Let's call it A and T for Anthony. And so this will be a little A, and this will be a little N, and this will be a little T. And because we have a saying side angle side situation, we are going to have to use cosine law. So we don't know what little t is. Little t squared equals a squared plus n squared minus 2an cos t. You just fill those in. 5.1 squared plus 8.0 squared minus 2 times 5.1 times 8.0 cos 60 degrees. And you just type it into your calculator and you should get that t is equal to 7.0 meters, approximately. So now that we have this length, we can use the sine law to find this angle. So we will do so, or you could use cosine law, I guess, but it's good to use sine law, it's a little easier to use. So we're going to use, we want to find big A, so sine A over little a is equal to sine t over little t. Or in other words, sine A is over uh, 5.1 is equal to sine of 60 degrees over 7.0. Type that into your calculator. Make sure you are in degrees. You should get angle A is equal to um, 39 degrees, which is safe for Anthony to climb, so he will be able to install it. Oops, he will install it. Okay, I got distracted. All right. So one more question, then we're going to be done. Find the area of triangle ABC where A equals 35 centimeters, B equals 30 centimeters, and C equals 41 centimeters. Again, I'm just going to draw a triangle, and you just want to make sure it doesn't look like a right angle triangle to you, and that it doesn't look isosceles either. It doesn't have to be perfectly to scale or anything like that. I'm just going to label it, so I'll make this A, I'll make this B, I'll make this C. B, little b is 30 centimeters, so little c is 41 centimeters, and little a is 35 centimeters. Um, so, we've drawn that triangle, and you should always just draw a little diagram for yourself to figure out what we're doing. We want to find the area of triangle ABC. So we're going to drop a perpendicular, and it's up to you which one you want to do. In this case, I guess I'll just drop this one right here and make a 90. That's an awful perpendicular. It doesn't look perpendicular at all. So I'm going to try again. Uh, there we go. And maybe I'll just call that D right there. Or you can call this H. Okay, so basically we need to know either this angle or this angle, and then we can use Pythag or not Pythagorean theorem, but the primary trig ratios to figure out what 
little h's. So let's find c right here. So c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared minus 2ab cos c, with a big c and a little c on the outsides. We just fill it in c squared. Oh, it's 41. 41 squared equals 35 squared plus 30 squared minus 2 times 35 times 30 cos c. And you just type it into your calculator and find cos. Be make sure that you do 41 squared minus 35 squared minus 30 squared divided by negative 2 times 35 times 30. So make sure that you do it in the correct order. And if you do, you should find that angle C is equal to 78 degrees. And now if you um, try to do this and you don't find that angle C is 78 degrees, that means you did something wrong, so you should go back and do it. So if you want to pause right now and go ahead and type that into your calculator, it's a really good idea to do so. Um, so now I know that angle C is 78 degrees, and also I know that sine C is equal to the opposite H over the hypotenuse A. So sine C is sine 78 degrees, sorry, equals H over 35. So in this case, H is going to be 35 times 78 sine, or sine 78, depending on how your calculator works. So I get 34.2 meters. And so we know, of course, that the area, and maybe I'll just write area because I have a big A, equals the half times the base times the height. In this case, the base actually is B and the height is H. So that's convenient, and we'll do one half um, 30 times 34.2, which ends up being 513.5 meters squared, and that is our solution. Okay, so today we just talked about the cosine law. There is no ambiguous case. We just have to arrange letters properly, and we can use it. So. I hope you enjoyed it. Bring any questions to class, and I will see you soon.